Hi Cancer, it's L here to do a retrograde reading. Um, so is Mercury retrograde for a, a good portion of July. There's also two eclipse. We know that with eclipse, uh, things are wiped from or eclipsed out of or um, moved out of your life. Uh, people, place, things. Cancer, it, it looks like some of you, you want to talk to somebody or somebody wants to talk to you. There's also a division of the heart. Like you, there's obligation and then there's love. So you're obligated, you feel obligated to one party. Maybe one party you've made commitment to, but the other party you, you absolutely love. I'm here. I'm hearing a door. You may be separated from someone also. There's a lot going on in the career and finance work sector. Things are going well for you. You understand that you've got to work hard in order to get yourself to uh, that place that either you used to be or uh, or to get yourself to a, a different level. Something of that nature. Um yeah let's get into it the signs that are uh, that came out in a pre-shuffle Gemini Libra Aquarius Pisces okay all right so what Lord God do you have to tell cancer for the mercury retrograde July 2019 mercury retrograde so I flip out nine of fire yes yeah, so there is someone who is looking at a situation from afar asking themselves do they want to jump back into this do they want to communicate with a particular person some of you are asking yourselves do you want to continue on this path maybe with whomever you uh, are on the journey with on the path with it may, it may be a, a lot of drama involved here some of you feel like you've outgrown someone. You feel like um, you, you've you gained some type of law and r rule and regimen about yourself. And you feel like maybe a counterpart uh, isn't where you are. You, um, you feel like you've learned a lot. Um, you also are just trying to be more cultural or cross-cultural or learning about culture your culture other cultures um some of you may be traveling to it's still cancer season happy birthday to those out there uh let's see what's going some of you are in separation from someone you want to talk yeah page of earth uh so this says i'm i'm in separation or I don't know if I should continue. But this card says I, I want to do what I have to do for myself. This is always my stability is elsewhere card. Because you're taking essentially your your foundation, your pentacle, your your energy, your vitality and you're removing it from a situation that you feel like you you're not going to have growth in so you are um you, you're saying to yourself uh myself uh this translates to i myself herself himself you you feel as if you you have to do something away from a particular path and it's because you feel like you've outgrown something you've outgrown someone you feel like stability is elsewhere and then there it is the death card transformation uh it says that um presently you may be losing something of value or something that you 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 thought had a lot of value but you've uh, you're evaluating it and you're saying i don't know about this at one point you thought that this situation brought a lot of value to your life but now you're at a place of con of contemplating 
your your home life your roots your foundation and you're saying that something this looks like a relationship has been ending for a while someone has been in in, um, in the midst of, of, of obligation for a while just hanging in there hanging on it's dying this is the death card uh, something is ending but something else is beginning there is a connection it says you want to have to have patience in getting exactly what you want uh, something is coming to fruition for you there may be a very wealthy partnership that comes in for you or someone in your social uh, amongst your friends or family it says that this this reconnection this um somebody wants to salvage a relationship now this is you cancer or this is someone else they want they know that this was bad or this is bad but or um that they need to make up they need to compromise they need to draw on both energies of masculine and feminine they need to essentially manipulate the energy uh, be the magician and make this happen the only way they're going to get what they want here is to in, uh, embrace the change that comes with uh, the temperance card it says do something in moderation to be cautious yeah this is you cancer king of king of water Cancer Pisces Scorpio it says that right now you're very emotionally balanced so there's no tipping of the scales there's no nothing can really sway you and it's very hard to read you emotionally uh, because you you have mastered that you you are uh, balanced um, you know when to draw see and it sits with the patience card you know when to draw on on particular emotions when to it's almost like you know when to say something when not to say you just know what to do in regards to a particular situation somebody also may be planning to uh, end something here page of water you, you want to give message to you want to reignite and restart something with someone who you have a particular history with. Two pages here. It looks as if Cancer, you may already be in a situation. You have the strength card. You may already be partnered. You may be uh, there may be a situation where there's shared resources. You may live together with someone. You're trying to tame yourself in regards to what you really want, what you really desire. Um, because of, uh, of tangible situations within your, your established connection. But you really don't want to be there. Also, it's like you, 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 you're on a fence. Somebody helps you with something for some of you somebody helps you with something or someone they either help you pay bills they help you with your children something like that and then there's someone who um, or you have children with them you may have two children with them but you know that this situation is it's, it's at death's door if not already through the door this is a situation where you're trying to be strong within an established connection within a marriage some contractual agreement even though you're evaluating this marriage this contractual agreement and saying I don't know if I'll ever get exactly what I want from this I should be further along 
than where I am with this person or with this thing. Uh, you're also in the place of pruning. Uh, you're looking at where you are and you're saying, I need to cut something out to regain control. And you govern the sevens. Uh, this is seven of earth cancer to regain the control. You're going to have to, to evaluate, reevaluate, cut away uh, what is not going to lead you to whatever it is you, you, you want. Wow. And then the three of air comes out. Uh, or the three of swords talks about divorce and or separation the heart is torn like I said for some of you it's obligation and then it's love or what you love to do or what you you love to be in or who the person you really love so the cancer's heart is torn in regards to maybe a Gemini Libra Aquarius it could be anyone um, but the cancer is at a place of um, thinking thinking differently the communication may e even be stalled or cut off or it's very hostile at this point um the cancer is also evaluating early childhood uh foundational you know found that foundational um time uh what shaped and molded your thinking uh Yes, yeah, some of you are looking at family and you're saying, well, man, I act like that because I, because of this and because of that. And, and you're really putting it together. Let's see what the outcome will be for the cancer. Um, or what the cancer should be focused on. Okay. So the, the cancer is, then here's your card, the queen of cups. And then the you got the king and the queen there so some of you definitely are married or in a long-standing union both of you uh, she's emotionally stable and you're balanced to be stable means that you can be you can be swayed you can be you can the you know the cup can tip over or or it can runneth over right you can allow that uh, it can happen for you but to be emotionally balanced means that you have kind of mastered that it's almost like that tight rope walker you know they're good at it they've done it a million times they're not going to fall um, but to be emotionally stable it says that I'm getting up on a tight rope for the first time I, I could tip too far to the left too far to the right I'm, I'm done um, because, uh, you know, on, on solid ground, I'm stable, but if you change my circumstances, then, uh, I might not be too stable. So the Queen of Cups hasn't 100% mastered her emotions. Uh, she can take on a lot of different emotions. She can give really good compassionate advice, uh, but her... her weakness is um being able to remain stable the king is balanced nothing is going to move him unless he wants to be moved anyhow there's a connection here that is um somebody's being overly emotional the other person is just being like you just you can't read them Maybe because somebody else is thinking about a, another person. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Two women here. Like I said, Seven of Wands. And then the Devil. Um, the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, there is there is you. There's another woman or another man. You you flip. You do the, the gender. I'm not, I can't keep up. You know this because your your abilities, your kind of like your, your tingly senses, your psychic abilities are heightened, especially in regards to the opposite sex. Either you have someone else, or they have someone else, whomever you're partnered with. It may be a situation where you guys just cheat on each other. Um, 
you know that's the understanding that you 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 two have in this relationship it may be toxic it may be low vibrational it may be um, a lot of codependency here uh, it looks like somebody's trying to ward off the toxicity though as if they're trying to get away from it or get out of it it says be be, be very uh, cognizant of your choices uh, see the devil energy is about the choice it's a six card you can't the devil just doesn't just roll up on you and jump on you and say, okay, you're in the devil energy. You're going to be low vibrational. You're going to be toxic. You're going to be addicted to drugs or addicted to sex or just an all-around negative person. No, that's a choice. All of those things I just named are choices. So this card says, be aware of the choices that you make and make sure that whatever you choose it doesn't lead you to a road of entrapment uh, or or just a dead end it's no no building here there's no growth here it's lower vibrational it's it you're not going higher with this uh, make sure that what you choose it's not um, that you're being humble and and don't act in extravagancy or if that's a word um, don't be too extravagant for some of you that's with money or there or or it says you need to cut out all of the extravagance in, in the showing off and the showboating because it's putting you in a place of the devil energy talks about loss of money um, it could talk about credit credit worthiness the lack thereof of credit credit worthiness um, money issues um, poverty and then the strength card comes out either someone has you in this place of of feeling very low very low vibrational or you cancer you have someone feeling this way uh, whatever it, and, and the eights talk about shared resources the other person's money the other person could be you cancer or vice versa you taking somebody else's money or it just being codependency here uh, it talks about loans and inheritance, mystery around uh, shared resources, merging. You merge with someone who is out to, to get what it is you want. I mean, what it is you have. The Knight of Pentacles. Some of you also trying to tame yourself, your sexual desire in regards to, um, yeah, some particular person this looks like there's a cancer who wants to extend offer or there's someone who wants to give the cancer an offer but the cancer's all immersed in some bs so you either want to extend or someone wants to extend the offer um of having something real solid and true something that they have been thinking about for a while but in order to have that or to extend the offer the cancer has to uh, allow cycles to end in their life allow eras to end two two tens here uh, maybe a, a, a carried burden here uh, this is masculine energy so I may be speaking to some of my male uh, cancers or my female cancers the the burden may be an Aries Sagittarius Leo male you have carried the burden of, of this person it may be financial it may be spiritual it may be emotional but you have carried the burden um the burden may be uh, the home the home life uh the family that you guys had together because somebody does exactly what it is they want to do how they want to do it someone makes promises and breaks every last one of them someone is not living up 
to what they said they would do or what they would be someone there's a lack of motivation here there's somebody who's lazy there's somebody who is uh highly entitled there's somebody who draws on the past or what happened in the past or what you did or you didn't do and they use that against you so that they can get what they want from you there's a highly emotionally manipulative person surprised the magician hadn't come out wow and then i talk about the tens letting the cycle in the the wheel of fortune falls right out the wheel turns for all of us it's always turning right you got two good tens you have two not so good tens ten of swords ten of wands then you have two good tens ten of pentacles ten of cups so that wheel is always turning in your life in your life you'll experience the ten of cups the ten of pentacles in your life you will experience the ten of wands the ten of swords w allow an ending to happen so that you can come out of some negative cycle yeah a uh, knight of swords it looks as if someone wants to communicate uh, this may even be a career change. Uh, someone is being hasty. They, they have had the thought. And now they want to speak their truth. They want to speak to an Aquarius. I said um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius at the beginning. Some Somebody wants to change course. Someone feels as if they're on the right path. Uh, with a lot of change we have two horses here definitely about you cancer about you getting in control the death card once again somebody wants to completely transform a situation or they have completely transformed they have gone through some spiritual um, awareness awaken cycle They understand uh, that they may lose something valuable here or what they thought was valuable in order to gain. And it may have something to do with maybe a Gemini or the choice. See, this says you're going to lose something that you thought was valuable at one, at one point. It says make the right choice the the lovers is always about you know our choices another six cards six of swords king of cups again this says that you need to rest in heavy analytical um have a heavy analytical nature about the systems that you have created for yourself in your life around your thought patterns around your emotions around the shit that you do i don't know who i'm talking to but i'm talking to somebody i don't even really curse but some of you you have created a system of either being used or using people and uh, you have to really evaluate yourself you have to evaluate your health um health is not just physical health but it's mental emotional and spiritual and financial something systematically you do in order to have this false sense of control in particular relationships and all it does for you when you try to manipulate the energy by way of uh, something that you've been doing for a long time I don't know get a personal reading um, it only leaves you stuck it only leaves you in a place of uh, of feeling tied down weighed down to a situation that you only think negatively about that sometimes you guys you tie yourself to people uh, who you know you shouldn't be tied to it's almost somebody I just heard some, somebody likes playing the victim I don't know if it's you cancer or somebody you're dealing with and the cancer or whoever the cancer is dealing with loves to come and play the rescuer the he the hero to a sad 
sorry somebody this is not a person who this is Gem this is Sun and Gemini we have the Gemini card here I don't know okay cancer so I know it wasn't the best reading not in regards to like uh, you know you, you, your soul made this and that and you can be with your soul mate it looks like some of you do want to make a, a better choice you just want to have peace with the situation you want to have peace with the past something you can't you can't fix and you finally coming to a place of of understanding it and you found balance with it uh, some of you yeah you want to make the choice just to have peace with it whatever that may be six and three is nine some of you are at a place of of wanting to end something uh, maybe with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius I don't know um, what we're going to ask the cards are um, how does this look for the cancer if they make the right choice because it looks like your reading is definitely about choices we have several six cards How does the Cancer's life look if they make the right choice? This is definitely about something being eclipsed out of your life, something ending. Um, it's gone on too long. It's what the universe is saying. How does the Cancer's life look if they allow if they make the right choice So we're going to talk about this over at the website cancer. It looks like um, I will say this. Somebody ain't going to be too happy. Um, let's leave you with some angel answers cards. Cancer. What do you have to tell the cancer? Somebody's not going to be too happy. Ask for help. Choose a new direction. Haven't we been talking about nothing but choices? And the card says choose a new direction. Cancer. Cancer, come on. Come out of that sentimental state of oh, I've known them for years and they know me and I know no honey. A stranger. I, I don't I don't get caught up in um you know my my loyalty doesn't rest with me having known someone for an extended amount of time um a stranger on the street can treat me better than the family member i've known my entire life so then my loyalty goes to the stranger on the street because uh there's an there's an equal exchange of energy there uh i'm not going to say well i'm going to i'm going to stick with my family member because they're my family and i've known them so long no they treat me like shit you know, I rather I rather be around the stranger. I rather go with the stranger. And you have to sometimes get to that point in your life where you make a better choice for yourself, and it can't be weighed in uh, time and uh, energy exerted and quote unquote love. Don't get me started on that. Um, it has to be a, a bit logical and um 
there has to be a, a, a healthy level of selfishness in, in some choices in life. You know, is this good for me? Are you asking yourself that question? For, a, I think, two years, I had that, I had a, a little sticky um, on my refrigerator. And uh, it said, is this good for you? And every time, you know, of course, you go to the, refriger the refrigerator, I, you know, I would see the sticky note. And whatever I was going through with whomever or, or just life in general, it would bring me back to a place of I need to do what's best for me. You know, forget being self-sacrificing and being run over and all that stuff. What is best for me? So, hey, that could be something that you do, Cancer. Put it wherever. It doesn't have to be on the refrigerator. It could be on your mirror. In, in your bathroom it could be in your room but you need something that is always bringing you back to reality is this best for me because people look everybody wasn't raised right point blank period every everyone wasn't raised in love and in caring uh, connections and families some people were raised in survival and when they get into romantic relationship, guess what comes out? That survival mode. And they will survive off your ass if you allow them. So if you if you just start embodying that and you start seeing that in, that, in particular people, friends, family, romantic partner, whomever, whatever. Um I'm, I'm preaching tonight. I don't. I don't do this, y'all know. I keep it simple, keep it short. We go over to the extended, but somebody is going through some real tough energy. They feel like they are stuck. They are in the fight for their mental and emotional health. They're trying to keep up airs with uh, with other people, but they feel like falling the hell apart you know and this is uh i i'm gonna pray for those people that is man that's real tough these two cards fill out look for a sign in the near future and it, at the bottom of the deck it says communicate clearly that healthy level of selfish selfishness no i won't do no i can't go no you can't have no no and no i know i used to do it but i'm not doing it now i can't i can't you're driving me mad and i will not go mad for you it's not worth it okay cancer meet me on the other side we're going to talk about what it looks like if you make the right decision you and the universe know what the right decision is i don't know i'm not in your life uh, but I'm hoping that um, you do make the right decision and you come out on top. This channel is not just about coming here and I want to see if he's cheating on me or she's cheating on me. Yeah, okay. If you need to see that in the cards, you already know that. Uh, it's probably a yes. Anyway, um, meet me on the other side, Cancer. Um, many prayers for you. To you cancer people um other people who may uh listen to the reading if you're really going through some really tough energy my heart and my prayers go out to you um like i said the wheel turns for all of us it may be tough times now the wheel is always turning things will turn around for you just know that uh, just hey what i used to say was just keep waking up that's all you gotta do the problem comes when you don't wake up you know what you know you, you're dead then so <laughs> if you just keep waking up just be thankful that you woke up okay all right i'm praying for you guys take care all links are below it's always two dollars 25 cents to get the extended read especially if you feel like it resonated with you or get your own personal reading over at the website take care bye